Back for Blood is the latest zombie first person shooter from the creators of Left 4 Dead. This game is currently in the beta phase and players who have already pre-ordered the game were given early access from the 5th of August and the open beta which will be available to everyone will start on the 12th of August. Now thanks to Intel, I've been given early access to the beta and I've had the opportunity to play it for a while. But if you are like me and you have a low end PC, there are some things you can do to increase the game's performance on your PC, only if you don't mind reducing the visual quality and the video is gonna be just that. The first major thing is the video resolution. This game allows you to go down to 1024 by 768 but what if you wanted to go lower? We're talking about 800 by 600 or 640 by 480 or any resolution you're comfortable with. This game is using the Unreal Engine 4, so you can go to your Windows install drive, users, your username, app data, local, back for blood beta, saved, config, Windows no editor, and open game user settings.ini using notepad. You'll see two variables, resolution size X and resolution size Y. If you want 800 by 600, put in 800 and 600 in X and Y respectively. Similarly, if you want 640 by 480, 640 in X and 480 in Y. Save the file, it will be applied when you fire up the game. With the FPS capped to 30, the experience gets smoother as you decrease the resolution. For me, I got the best results in 640 by 480. In anything higher, I couldn't get past the matchmaking menu after every single game. So I think the 640x480 resolution is a great way to get stable performance on any low-end PC. The next thing you can tweak is the resolution scaler. The game allows you to decrease it to 71 and doesn't let you go any lower. Keep in mind, this makes the game more blurry to look at. Remember to keep it at 71 and you can go to the same configuration file and change these two variables on screen to any number you want from 0 to 100. For me, I put in 50. Save the file and again, it will be applied when you fire up the game. And that should be it. These major tweaks should help you get stable performance in this game on a low-end PC when the open beta is available on August 12th. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.